Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Emma, and we're playing Dragon Age 2. So, as you can tell by the slew of quests that are assaulting the left side of my screen, I finally got the DLC. Now, I apologize that it's been so long. I've been having technical difficulty after technical difficulty, and hopefully it's finally finished. I got a few new pieces of gear, some of them didn't want to work with each other. I have gone through two pop filters, one of which didn't even fit. The second one was just ass and also kind of didn't fit. So I've just decided to forego pop filters for the time being. If it sounds shitty, I apologize. I wanted to record in lieu of having perfect sound because I'm just going to have to wait for another one to come in and I don't fucking feel like doing that. All right, I know we have a lot of stuff to chat about. I'll throw up an agenda at the end of the video and we can discuss things. Um, so for those of you who are interested in stuff like the D&D stream and an update for that, um, what the fuck was going on with me in that hospital bed? And basically that's it, other than like a few cosplay things. So we have the DLC. What we're gonna do today is go and get um, Exalted Prince started so we can include Choir Boy in our party. So, thankfully, as you guys can tell, I got the graphics fixed, which was another one of our technical difficulties. Um, camera's not bugging out, so we're good there. <sighs> Finally. I, I just know something's gonna fuck up in editing. Okay. We look good. Let's head on out. So, as some of you may know, because I post almost daily to, like, Facebook and sometimes Instagram, mostly Instagram, although not directly to you guys on Instagram, um, I kind of keep you guys updated with what we're doing with the stream, what we're doing with videos, upcoming cons that I'm going to, run fairs, photo shoots, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Firstly, okay go pick up that boy um i have been having some problems getting this to work so thankfully thankfully we're all good it looks like and thank you guys for bearing with me i appreciate it it's really frustrating to want to, don't do it want to create content but nothing will work with you Let's find where this boy is. Okay. We were on the right path. Oh, man. I'm excited to get to play this through finally. Sound is fixed. Kind of. I don't have a pop filter, so hopefully this sounds okay. I'm not going to fix it if it sounds shitty. I'm sorry. Sebastian. Stop this madness. The Chantry cannot condone revenge, Sebastian. It is my right, my duty to show these assassins there is nowhere in the free marches to hide. This is murder. No. What happened to my family was murder. My squad. Okay, so because everything was like being weird and being funny, see we've still got some some graphic glitches. I'm sorry guys, I downloaded the DLC and part of that included a texture pack. It's supposed to be high resolution. And I was like, yeah, that sounds great. It fucked everything up. I recorded on it. I tried to make the best of it, decided I didn't want to keep it. So I've played through some of this um, just to disclaim, but it's been a while. So it's kind of fresh. So bear with me. Everything is fixed to the best of my ability. Alrighty, duty. A grave crime was committed against all free-thinking men and women in the Free Marches. The ruling Vale family in Starkhaven, my family, was brutally murdered, down to the youngest babe in arms. This massacre was carried out by members of the Flint Mercenary Company. I hereby offer a bounty on the head of each Flint Company soldier in the Kirkwall vicinity. Prince Sebastian Vale. It's such a good name. He's cute. I think Anders would agree. 
I'm such a huge fan of when couples can like be like, yeah, totally. That person's cute as fuck. Nobody gets jealous. Nobody is insecure. And you can appreciate that somebody else is attractive, good looking, however you want to skin that. And nobody gets their panties in a twist. <laughs> Return home to reminisce about a harrowing experience. That sounds like a no. Okay, so we can go back and get stuff from our house. A lot of this is just gear from the DLC. I don't really care about it right now. I'll fix everything after the end of the episode. Remember that this is going to be an extended episode because I couldn't get any videos out last week due to technical difficulty upon technical difficulty. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go find our Chantry Boy. I think we need to go to the Wounded Coast and to the mountains and the docks at night, right? At night. There we go. Also, um, I'm going to save the other two, Legacy and Mark of the Assassin, for the very end. Um, because I was doing some research about the order in which these need to be completed. And apparently there's a lot of bugs associated with these. Thanks, Bioware. There's a quest to turn in over here. Oh, these are our dudes. And so I'm going to do those last and have a separate save, like a save before we do all that. So if the file does get corrupted, we can just hopefully go back and it won't affect the rest of the game. Well, it'll be finished, so there's also that. Good job, everyone. You all did wonderfully. I can't open that. God damn it. I'm so sorry about the textures. I tried really hard to get it to work. If it's bugging anybody, let me know, and I'll see what other research I can do. It's mainly just the shadows and whatnot. What? We already finished this quest. I... These are completed, right? Yeah. This is totally side. But it's sketchy on the details. I wish this was in alphabetical order. Sketchy on the details. We finished this. It's gotta be a glitch. But let's go check it out anyways, just in case. Also, um, oh, all right. Um, I had a poll on my Instagram stories about whether or not you guys wanted me to take the mechanical keyboard sounds, but the clicking, the, I guess you can hear. I don't know how terribly noticeable it is, especially with this new mic, but. You guys decided, 75% to 25, that I didn't need to take it out. Thank you, because that's, you know, that spares me the extra work. <laughs> and that makes, that makes more time for memes and for making, oh, uh, the lowdown, direction to the undercut space. We took a piece of the docks and we ain't giving it up. Anyone comes to the base? <laughs> Kenki wants him dead. He don't care what they're selling. <laughs> they couldn't resist, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, there was one right here. Excuse me. Sorry, Fenris. All right, so now that we've taken care of the undercuts, which is a great hairstyle, for the way. I love that on women. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, this has to be a glitch. Hey, Sketch. Underappreciated character. All right, let's get out of here and hit up Sundermount. Sundermount sounds good. And after Sundermount, it's the Wounded Coast. And then we should be good to go for whatever happens next. I'll be really psyched when he can join our party. I don't know when that happens. But after... After that, we should be ready for Aveline. A uh, wounded close is closer to my mouse. <laughs> so we'll do that first. Man, it feels like it's been forever since I played. Also, I appreciate the fact that you guys are right here so I don't have to wander around. The blood looks different. 
It looks like extra texture. It looks kind of like jam. It's very like viscous. Get in there. There you go. Oh, there are more? Oh, the textures are killing me. I'm sorry if I just ruined the game by downloading this DLC. It's very, very frustrating. I did a ton of research just to try to, oh, to try to mitigate, uh, cause you can't uninstall that bit individually because it's part of the DLC, like pack. I downloaded the pack from the origin store. So I'm kind of fucked. Like, don't get me wrong, I have all the, like, things unchecked for the high resolution and whatnot, but it doesn't seem to make too terribly much of a difference, and I apologize. I almost feel like I need to, like, research all of that stuff before I do it, but it's always, like, I'm always afraid I'm going to encounter spoilers, and so much of this has already been spoiled for me. Bam. Give me that, Curious. All right, Owen, whatever you've got. Brandy, look at those, like, it doesn't even sparkle right anymore. I know, I know people need to level up, but Andrews hasn't leveled and this is a group. We level, we all level together. <laughs> I am too fucking lazy to do it right now. Ugh. Gotta go to the Chantry. I mean, it doesn't surprise me, but still. It's not my favorite locale. It's full of Templars. I still haven't finished um, the Mass Empire. Like, I, I get so mad every time I read it. <laughs> Your family can rest now. Their killers are gone. Mistress Hawk, but what? Are you saying you responded to my post on the Chanter's board? I thought for sure no one even read. But you say you've killed them. You have my eternal gratitude, Sirrah. It is comforting to think my parents might now rest easily in their graves. I'm so sorry. This is what, like, life looks like when I don't have my glasses on. This is so frustrating. I don't know why this is happening. <sighs> Who are you, exactly? I am Sebastian Vale, Prince of Starkhaven. Her grace might prefer I introduce myself as a brother in the Chantry, but I could not stay after what happened to my family. Oh good, at least you're not in Chantry anymore. Isn't that where the Circle Tower just burned down? Yes. I believe that was part of the same strike against my family. In one instant, we lost our mages, our Templars, everyone my parents used to call on for protection. Who sent these mercenaries? My family has ruled Starkhaven for six generations. Ooh. We have enemies, but none who would identify themselves openly. A distant cousin of mine is claiming rulership now, but he is a bit simple. He can be no more than a pawn in this plot. I thought we were back, but... Surely you have a guess as to who was behind it. My parents were always prudent in how they handled our nobles. They did not allow rivalries or resentments to flourish. The attack must have come from outside. Kirkwall is our largest trading partner. I came back here to find support for my claim, and perhaps for a clue as to who is behind this foul deed. Why didn't your family's enemies hunt you down as well? That's why I took the offensive. Thanks to you, those Flint Company assassins are no longer a danger. I'm the last of my line. Unless I survive, my family will have no justice. I hope their deaths bring you peace. Thank you. More than I can say. I truly did not expect anyone but me to take up this cause. Consider this in advance. When I have secured my lands again, you will be paid royally. Now if you'll excuse me, I must meet with the Viscount and petition him for aid to a fellow city. Uh, I'm so frustrated. <sighs> okay, so here's what I have for graphic settings right now. 
So I still have this on very high and that, but none of these. So let's try taking it down to high and see how that helps. And maybe we'll be able to look at our cutscenes again. It's still sputtering. Hmm. I'm gonna leave it for now. If it really bugs you guys, let me know and I'll see what I can do. <sighs> I guess that leaves us to manage the Kuhn. Cause I don't think there's anything else left to do. I'm gonna double check when we get um, there, our journal to make absolute positive. Oh, this drives me crazy. Okay, so don't worry about all that. Oh, the lowdown. Clear their hideout? Do we need to come back when it's night? Oh, Anders level. Damn it, now you have a level one. <laughs> I'm gonna come back when it's night and see if that shows us anything. If not, then I'm just gonna level. Aha! Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and level them really quick. All right. Let's go break into somebody's camp. I'm glad I checked the journal. Otherwise we wouldn't have been able to go visit Kanky. <laughs> it's always better to be safe than sorry. Oh, hello. Did you see that guy like Man, this game is all sorts of glitch now. Is this normal? Or is this just my save? It's all janky now. I don't remember it being this bad before the DLC. I didn't ruin this by downloading the DLC. I'm very upset. <sighs> okay. Let's clear this guy's hideout. This seems so easy in comparison. I've been playing Zelda lately. The, uh. No, it's tanky! No, not me. I've been playing Breath of the Wild, and like, it's so hard sometimes. Those puzzles, though. It's rough. No, Kanky. Like, don't even get me wrong. Like, somebody's even, I can't remember who it is, I think it was Merlin, was talking about how, like, Breath of the Wild can sometimes be, like, the Zelda, or the Nintendo version of Dark Souls. Because apparently it gets complicated. The fights, at least. The puzzles can be complicated, too. I like them because it makes you think. Even though I know I usually don't like puzzles. But... Whoop! Yeah! That was my <laughs> cone of cold noise, apparently. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't want me. Oh, no. Kite, 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 kite. I'm kiting. No, I'm kiting. Not very well, apparently. Yeah. Are we good? Ugh, this is so frustrating. I'm so sorry, guys. I need Kinky's treasure, please. A clan shield? Well, we completed the quest. I can't, like... Is this, is this it? Is it not related to anything else? It was just go kill all these dwarves?
All right. That was that. But yeah, Breath of the Wild is really pretty. I spend most of my time cooking. <laughs> it's fun, and you can make so much cool stuff. You can make mushroom risotto. I make a lot of omelets. Rice is kind of hard to come by, at least where I am right now. I just got to the Zora domain, and I love Prince Sidon. Sidon? Sidon? Sidon. His fucking, like, sparkle when he does his little... <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, now let's turn to daytime. I'm gonna save right before we go in, just in case. And then we'll deal with this quest. Last one, guys. I'm kind of nervous. It always makes me super stressed out when the acts change because I'm always afraid I forgot something. Computer, I'm gonna need you to calm down. Okay. Let's save. I know I have a bunch of save files again, I'm sorry. All right. Let's see what we can do. That was Cassandra. Is that Cassandra? Is that supposed to be Cassandra? I can't tell because I can't see her the scar on her cheek. Or maybe she doesn't have it yet. I hope that's Cassandra. Hi, hello. I'll wrap up any other business God, no. before we go. It's already a mess. It could get worse. I don't know why it's doing this. I don't know whether to like continue or to try to fix it. I'm gonna try to fix it. I'll be right back. All right, I made some changes. Let's see if this works. I'd wrap up any other business before we go. <sighs> God. It's already a mess. It could get worse. So I moved the uh, graphics setting down some more. I took it off of Direct X11 or whatever the fuck and put it on the 9. And it has worked. <sighs> Sorry for all the nonsense. Um, the flames are not flickering anymore either, so hopefully this works. I'm sorry we had to bump it down to medium. This game's so out of date though that it doesn't really make too terribly much of a difference, at least not that I can tell. Okay, so let's fucking do this. Let's go. I request an audience with the Irish shock. He will allow it, but not in this number. I will only bring my friend here and a small compliment of my guard. Is that few enough? It is. Enter. Oh, so Fenris and Andrews don't go? Shinada. Greetings, Arashok. We come regarding the elven fugitives that took refuge here. Irrelevant. I would speak to Hark about the relics stolen from my grasp. Ooh! I don't want to throw Isabella under the bus. I feel like we can come back from this. But I don't want to lie either. So we'll we'll do our best to get it back. If you give me time, I'll get it back for you. It is much too late for that. An issue for another time. We're here for the fugitives. The elves are now Fidathari. They have chosen to submit to the cure. They will be protected. I want more information. Like, let me hear the L's side of the story. We can't just, like, make all these assumptions. I'm not gonna go with that or that. So, I guess this is our only option. Have they truly converted? Or are they simply using you as a shield? They have chosen, and so have I. You have not hidden the abuses of your zealots or the corruption of this city. You will understand why I must do this. Let us look at your dangerous criminals. Speak, Vidathari. Who did you murder and why? A city guard forced himself on our sister. We reported him, or tried to. 
But they did nothing about it, no matter what we said. So my brothers and I paid him a visit. That doesn't excuse murder. Uh... Are these elves telling the truth? There have been rumors. I will investigate. But they still took the law into their own hands. Sometimes that is necessary. Like you avenged the Viscount's son. It was not right then, and it's not right now. Um... This just gives me hella flashbacks to Shiani. Ugh. Like dogs, Shiani. I would have done the same thing in their shoes. Hawk, that's not helping. Their actions are mere symptoms. Your society is the disease. They have chosen. The Vidithari will submit to the Kuhn and find a path your way has denied them. You can't just decide that. You must hand them over. Make me do this. God damn it. They would be elves. I don't say that because I'm like trying to be biased to the race alone. Although I am. I know. We don't need to go there. But this is because. I mean their fucking sister was raped. Nobody would help them. They tried to report it. She fucking even knew. And hasn't done anything about it. And you're gonna punish them for that and not the guy who raped? Mm -mm. Absolutely not. They deserve another chance. Exactly so. I cannot leave without the relic, and I cannot stay and remain blind to this dysfunction. There is only one solution. Arishok, there is no need for. The neck cut us. Why? What? Why hot though? Not here. Two over. Go, go. Hawk. My dude, I sided with you. Why me? Okay, so who started that? Did Aveline draw her blade or did he give a command? Can you hear it? The Canari must be spreading out. They're attacking the city. Why? What could they possibly hope to accomplish? Um. So in the matter of... <laughs> I was going to explain the ethical and moral implications decision and the, uh, <laughs> that caption just came to mind, um, because it's, it's a hundred percent me. <laughs> so I definitely stand by what we did for the elves. Like, Aveline fucked them. The guards literally fucked them. Like, it's not fucking okay. Period. Ever can't mm, mm. I'm not I'm not gonna get on the soapbox so but that doesn't justify starting a war because they're not trying <sighs> okay look at it from the Kuhn perspective so they're trying to maybe rid the because he was talking about the disease the dysfunction it is this a cleanse so does that mean he's going to forcibly conquer the city and convert it to the Kuhn, if I understand correctly. We have to do something. Shit. It doesn't matter. We need to act. I agree. We can't do anything on our own, however. All right. Let's get my boys. You're safe. Thank the Maker. I thought they got you. Darktown is flooded with people trying to get away from all this. The Canari are assaulting the city and fast. The Arashok planned this for who knows how long. 
We should head to the keep to rally my guardsmen. Whatever happens, be careful. <sighs> you mean those people you let get away with rape? Shame on her. Fucking shame. There's one behind, but it looks like Aveline's got it. Oh, is Anders telling people to run? So, if they're trying to cleanse, why are they just murdering? You'd think they'd want more people for the Kuhn, right? Or is this, like, the kind of cleanse where you just, like, commit genocide? Where are they? Oh. Yeah. That was a good chain lightning. And it looks like all our particles are kind of back to normal. A Cerebos. Those poor mages. Like, I don't agree with the Kuhn, but everyone, you know, should be able to practice their religion as they see fit, as long as they're not assholes about it. You can't forcibly convert people. You shouldn't, like, I don't know. I don't think you should try to convert people, period. Nobody likes fire and brimstone and constant badgering. That's not how you get anything done. Okay. Did I see a carver? Did I see his name? Oh, hey ho. Let's hold on. I'm afraid to do that because I don't want to friendly fire the wardens. I was gonna put a big thing down. Okay, now let me. It is Carver! My jerk little brother. Get him. No, Carver, come back. Come back. We have so much to talk about. Oh, we need to stop that. I'm sorry. I'm watching health, don't worry. There we go. There we go. Carver! I'm so excited. Let me talk to you. Let me talk. Let me talk. Somehow I knew it would be you. Carver! Hello, sister. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, I'm so excited! All the, the cheeky comment, I live here. <laughs> but I'm more concerned with you right now. Are you injured? Are there more of you? I'm fine. We're fine. And no, this is all of us. You have our sincere thanks. This attack was... Most unexpected. Stroud, we need to move. We've already delayed too long. Very true. I cannot believe the Kunari would dare such an attack. This will lead to war with the Free Marches for certain. I fear pressing matters take us elsewhere, but we can spread word to the other free cities. Perhaps they will bring aid. Oh shit! He doesn't know about Mom! Wait, I need to tell you about Mother. I already know what happened. I'm sure you did your best. This is not the time. Take this. It is all we can spare, but perhaps it will be of use. I don't need money. Did you just give me money? Goodbye, sister. Take care of yourself. Make her watch over you, my friend. Hmm. A warden's promise. It's a sword? Ah, oh, no. Is that it? Is that all we get of him? Hmm. 
I'm doing that thing where we're not being very immersed and we're looting during a raid. Where is this? Okay, he must have exploded into bits or something. All right, where do we need to head to? Got it. Let's do it. Let's go save some people and help. I don't know if we can save anyone. Jesus Christ. Oh, buddy, I wish I could help. Or are you looting? I mean, I can't judge you. I am too. I'm starting to feel really guilty about this looting. I'm just gonna go. Oh wait, I skipped the thing. It was too late. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna loot anymore. It's not realistic, and I feel like a douche. What? Wait, what? No, babies, no! Don't make me. I know why you're doing this. It's because the humans mistreat you, but don't make me kill you. Oh my heart. Oh damn it. Please stop. No, I'm not gonna summon puppers because that's even more cruel. <laughs> God, that's rough. I hope they examine that, the fact that they have a lot of elven supporters. I'm not gonna kill them. <sighs> because the humans treat them so poorly that, you know, they, it can't be any worse off with the can. How heartbreaking. God, I'm so fucking tired of people mistreating elves! Can it be Dragon Age 4 already and I can just, like, help Solus out? How can anyone be mad at Solus for what he's doing after the way the world has treated elves? I'm not gonna get on that soapbox. I can already hear the comment section. Tippity typing away furiously. I'm not looting because I looted earlier and I feel bad now. That breaks my heart. Oh, that's not good. Our sheriff, quit your struggling woman. Tepper, boss! Then the Aeroshock failed to take you captive. Unfortunate. Oh, okay. So we just have this? Alright. At least I can, like, use more magic and don't feel bad about accidentally hitting an elf. Oh. I feel like I'm always mad about elves. What is he doing? It looks like he's casting magic, but... Can I move, please? Why am I not moving? Oh! Oh, we got a problem. Where is he? Ow! Fucking! Can you not? Do not impale me with spikes! The name Hawk has turned up in my reports many times. <laughs> Too many. It's good that we found you, Knight Commander. The Canari are... It's obvious what they're doing. 
The Kunari are taking people to the keep and may already be in control. We will need to deal with them. Why would they be gathering hostages? They're going to take everyone of import and put them in the same place. Those that agree to convert, live. Those that don't. Charming. I don't want to help her. Hawk, no, because we're a mage. We're dating Anders. We're probably extremely pro-mage. This is very dangerous for us. I really want to tell her she's on her own. Really want to tell her she's on her own. This is my playthrough. I'm gonna do it. No offense, but I have my own plans. You think I'm a fool, do you? I saw you using magic. Uh-oh. Here it comes. You have one chance, and one chance only to Fuck prove you. yourself apostate. Do not test me. Head to the keep, and I will see if I can find more of my men. These creatures will pay for this outrage. I'm just gonna sit here and be angry about her. Templars. <laughs> I'm so salty. And I bet I'm gonna get even saltier in Act 3, yeah? Okay, ooh, we got a ways to go. Alright, guys, let's save everybody we can. Uh, can we let them duke it out? Shit. Let's let them kill each other. Fuck. There you go, Aveline. Why wouldn't the party be helping us? Because, like, if the city falls, they fall with it, right? They lose all their stakes and whatever they've got going on here. Alright, let's keep on rolling. Are you okay, lady? You need to run. I want to, like, do the thing in WoW where you, like, run up and either, like, patch them up or... Send them scurrying to where they need to be. Can you guys put fucking stuff up? Pretty please. Bam. Wait, who's on Anders? You leave him alone. <gasps> Baby. I got you, don't worry. I'm gonna need you to stop, please. No, not me. No, not me. Oh, did that not work because he's not on the ground? No, I went three. No! There we go. I'm gonna need you to stop. I keep trying to tab target. Get him. I literally called myself out for tab targeting and just did it right again. Oh. Oh, hello. <clears throat> or snow. Many thanks, my friend. You don't seem as badly injured as the others. The others? Surely they cannot all be. Oh, no. No. I told them to run. 
first enchanter Orsino. You survive. Your relief overwhelms me, Knight Commander. There is no time for talk. We must strike back before it's too late. And who will lead us into this battle? You? I will fight to defend this city as I have always done. To control it, you mean? I won't have our lives tossed to the flames to feed your vanity. Oh, look, I get special. Um, now, um, I'm really glad that I get the special option. But I'm 175% biased in this argument. I say we let the first enchanter guide us. You place us in dangerous hands. Well then fuck off, lady. This saves us from them. Thank you. I shall do my best. Let's see what the Gunari are doing at the keep, shall we? Yeah, get out of the way. <laughs> I am unabashedly, like, taking sides here. I am not going to play the diplomat. There seem to be a great many Konari at the Keep's entrance. Then they've already taken it over. Clearly, they've been planning this for some time. I don't see any of my guardsmen. Aveline. This is the only way in. We must assault them now before their numbers grow. Are you mad? They have hostages. We need a distraction. This is no time for games. We must act, or all within will die. I said every meathead ever. They want them alive to convert them. Did she not listen to Fenris? <sighs> Rosino's right. A distraction sounds like the safer choice. We'll need to get you inside and catch up as soon as we can. And just how will we do this? Have confidence, Knight Commander. That spin. I believe in you. You will not conquer this city without a fight! Cerebos! Finish conquers! Yeah! Okay, so this is where I'm going to cut it so we can have more excitement for the next time. So here's where the part where I'm going to like chit chat about upcoming stuff for the channel, live shit. So if you just want to watch Dragon Age, we are done for the day. Um, but if you want to hang around, I appreciate it. Okay, so first order of business, um, the stream. One of the members is going through some rough patches in his life right now. And I want to afford him the opportunity to get that worked out. I don't want to just be like, ah, sucks to suck, and just start the stream without him. Because it's extremely inconsiderate. He's my friend. All the people that are involved in this are, are dear friends of mine that I trust to be both 
good people, entertaining, good at the game, and I, I love all of them dearly. And so it's just not right to ignore his circumstances and continue on without him. So the compromise here is that another one of the members and I are going to do prologue bits. So we're going to venture back in time, so to speak, from where events are supposed to take place. And we're going to run a few mini sessions until my friend has an opportunity to get his stuff together. I don't know when that's going to begin. Hopefully shortly. But that's where that stands. Okay, agenda item number two. Um, I want to start doing a casual cosplay a month. Now, I didn't get to do last month because I had a bunch of health stuff going on. We'll get to that. But I have a few outfits and characters picked out to be able to easily construct in a month. So these aren't going to be big builds like Morgan where there's a lot of intricate detail and a lot of fine work. It's going to be more like a Dalish cosplay uh, with some stuff I've already got. Or something quick like I want to do Stella Chu's beautiful rendition of like a goth sailor moon stuff like that stuff that's easy to put together it's still magnificent and that way we get more content i get to cosplay more because it's, it's been a few years now admittedly um because once law school got really in swing and then the bar exam and then life just like happened and i'd really love to get back in the swing of it now that i've got the time and the money to do so well kind of the time i'm gonna make the time it's choosing to do that instead of get better at League of Legends. <laughs> so, health stuff. I, I'm i still not quite sure exactly what's going on because I haven't taken the time to, like, get an actual diagnosis or anything. I hear all the, like, mom friends, like, madly typing to scold me. But uh, I'm doing the best. I, I have done a few visits nothing's definitive but we've got some like patch over stuff um i've talked to a few of you about it um and it's it's usually the 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 regulars i guess if i want to call y'all that um that i do keep in touch with on a somewhat frequent basis and um it's nothing like don't flip out it's nothing bad it's just um whenever i like finish law school and like life got really stressful like I don't know, I guess I, like, my GI track, like, stopped functioning. And so, I don't know what the deal is. I'm on some good stuff to keep everything, like, somewhat normal, which is why I haven't been cosplaying and modeling, because when you, when your body decides that you need to become a meat balloon, because I was having my, like, my, I guess abdomen extend out past my ribs like just randomly like it wouldn't have eaten anything like nothing weird was going on I wasn't doing anything it would just happen so it was really hard to manage that because it wasn't really connected to anything and so how am I supposed to cosplay or model when my body just randomly decides to inflate meat balloons my favorite term for this so that's almost a hundred percent of why I haven't been cosplaying and modeling lately because it was very difficult to get a hold on what was going on. I have a hold on it now um, for the most part. So that's why we can finally get back into things. Um, fourth topic, <clears throat> since three kind of leads into four. Um, I did have that surgery. I couldn't talk about it at the time. I think I can talk about it now. Um, I do egg donations. So like gametes, oocytes, follicles, whatever you want to call them, um, since law school, basically, beginning of law school. Um, it's just something I've been doing because I don't want kids, and so it helps pay for law school. Don't, like, start freaking out. This isn't, this isn't altruistic. This pays and helps somebody out, I guess, kind of. 
And so that, of course, like, that has surgical implications. And so that's why I was out. And it's, like, really hard because you take all those hormones and stuff. And so it's really rough to do anything. So everything is finally back to the best semblance of normal that I can get. And we are finally, finally, I think, going to get back on a normal schedule. I still have a bit of healing left to do. I probably won't be back to normal normal until the end of this month because it takes a lot of time to get all that out of your system and for everything to heal. Um, but I do have a cosplay planned for this month and for next month. And I think, I think that covers us for now. I think I might just do two next month. Because I have, I have a lot of stuff that I've been thinking about. And I have a photographer friend in Austin who is going to effectuate a good bit of it, I think. So I'm excited. I'm, I'm trying to be, like, somewhat vague so we don't give shit away. But I think that covers everything. Oh, other than the fact that I got these. And I wanted to show you guys because it's really cute. So this is a, um, a sheer lipstick super cute but the best part is I don't know if you can see it but it's got a little cat face on it and this made my day like I literally haven't used this because I wanted to show it to you guys first <laughs> all right so that culminates discussion time so I'm glad we got everything fixed we are literally neck deep in this canary shit and I'm definitely not looking forward to the impending Templar conflict that is being foreshadowed. Because I'm pretty sure I know what Act 3 is going to consist of. And, and I am getting my mage right sign ready. I'm going to sit there and pick it. As in like that. Not like pick the... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think that sums up everything today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time.